Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. He's just going to break bad. In this segment of MTC, we're going to be looking at Western Express. Yes, sir. This was a request of a recall. As you guys may know, we already talked to Restaurant Express some time ago and a couple of couple of seasons ago. But now I had the opportunity to recall Restaurant Express and get some good information this time. Wow. Well, check it out. They have upgraded their pay. They're upgraded their referral bonus. They got better equipment from what he has said. And now, instead of getting whatever referral bonus that you guys was getting before, you guys could get $1,000 per referral bonus. The first 500 is going to come after 30 days, and the last 500 is going to come after 90 days. So if you drive for Restaurant Express and you want to get somebody in there and earn a little bit of more money, that referral bonus will help you. Let's take a look at Western Express. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Western Express. Hey, good morning. Uh, recruiter? Yes, it is. Okay, okay, okay. How you doing? Hey, listen. Um, a friend of mine kind of, uh, kind of, you know, made, you know, kind of hinted me to give you guys a call. Uh... Are are you guys like a, a a second chance company for some drivers out here? Yes, sir. It just uh, just depends on that that uh, what you got. What do you have? Oh, okay, 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 okay. You, you know, I have a you know I have a couple of friends uh, that have a little bit of skirmishes on their on on their license and all like that, and on their you know and on their DAX. But I was just, you know, I was talking to a few guys in the in the Facebook groups and all like that, and I was just trying to get some, you know, trying to get some information so that I can pass it on to my to my fellow drivers as well as getting some information for myself. Um, all right, so you guys have a Facebook uh, post uh, showing that you guys uh, up your referral bonuses. So for like drivers, that's already working for the company they can they can get uh a thousand dollars per referral yes sir okay well I, I, i'm i'm kind of glad that i know that now because the driver that i previously talked to i could have i could have probably threw his name out there but i i, I forgot <laughs> how much uh how much experience you guys require uh, so we don't require any experience, just uh, just a Class A CDL. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you guys bring new drivers in from from schools as well? Yes, sir. Okay. How about uh, how about pre-employment drug screening? Is it hair follicles or urine or both? Uh, it's just a urine test. Urine. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so do the paper mile is that? Is that variance on the experience level of of the driver? Say, like, I got seven years, so how much will I come in at? So how much do you have in the last uh, three years of experience? Do you have I, all that three years? Yeah, all, all, all the three years in into the seven, yes. Okay. Um, and where are you located? Are you in Cleveland, Ohio? Yes. And what kind of experience do you have driving? Uh, I have a uh, flatbed drive-in. Uh, yeah, I got a flatbed drive-in <laughs> reefer, some tanker. Okay. All right. Well, I um, let's see. What is your zip code there in Cleveland? Uh, my zip code actually is in Minner, Ohio. Is four four zero six zero. But you, you know, I'm close to Cleveland, right down the highway. So my mom's zip code. I'll give you my mom's zip code. How's that? Four four one zero eight. If that's easier. Four four one zero eight. Yes. There we are. Um, so I do have a flatbed position available. Um, it'll pay you up to eighty eight cents a mile. Mm. Um, and it's a regional route, so you'll be out five days and home too. Mm. 
Okay, okay. And, and you said 88 cent a mile? Yes, sir. Okay. Does that include uh was what what do I get any more incentives like tart pay and detention pay, layover pay and all that good stuff? Yes, sir. So you'll get um tarping pay, which is an extra hundred to hundred and fifty dollars extra added okay. onto your paycheck. Okay. Um, and breakdown pay, our, our guys are really, really good about getting you back on the road if something was to happen. Um, so our breakdown pay is kind of low. It's only $35 after 24 hours. Oh, because okay. The reason why it's low is because we get you out pretty quickly. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now, that's uh, that's for flatbed. It, uh, you, you you don't have any uh, drive-in positions or, or reefer positions? Or do you guys have reefer trailers? Uh, we uh we don't have reefer, um, but I do have another um, drive-in position. It's going to be out ten to twelve days and home two to three. Mm -hmm. um, and with your experience, one two three, you're going to start you out at fifty two cents a mile, um, and then you'll get a two cent raise after thirty days, and that'll be the cap out at fifty four. Oh, so e even even if a person such as my status. And a person would like maybe like ten or more, uh, they they cap out at at fifty at fifty four. Yes, sir. Um, but with your experience, um, if you're interested in down the road about two to three months, if you have clean driving with us, um, if you're interested, we do need some uh dry van or flatbed trainers. Mm. Um, now they 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 make a lot of money. They make anywhere from nineteen hundred to three thousand dollars plus a week. Oh, okay, okay. So how is that? So that's that's broke down like I, I would get the same as if the trainee drives my truck. I would get that miles and and the amount of right. him, him and her being in the truck with me. Correct. So it's basically like a glorified team pay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. And you so say you're, so you're making you're making that money on you driving, them driving, and it's all combined together into into you. Okay, okay. So that's like uh so that's like what, a couple of months down the line if I decide to go that route? Yeah, we uh the DOT requires us um for you to at least have two to three months of clean driving with us mm -hmm. until we can promote you to that. Oh, okay, okay, cool, cool. All right, so uh fifty four cent cap at, at where I'm at and uh eighty eight cent on uh on the flatbed division okay what are the uh what are the, yes, what are the what are the trucks governing that uh there some of them are a little bit different depending on the newer ones that we have uh, but most of them are governed at between 71 and 73. Oh, okay okay driver cams in the trucks uh yes they are facing outward not inward. Oh, okay okay uh, do you guys? Uh, well, I'm not sure. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if I asked this question of the driver, but do you guys offer any type of lease uh, opportunities there? Yes, sir. We have flatbed and drive van lease. Um, mm -hmm. They're a walk away lease, no money down, no credit check. Um, so at any, you're just not feeling it anymore. You just bring the truck back. Mm -hmm. um, no questions asked. Oh, um, okay. And with the flat, yeah. So with the flatbed lease, you're, most guys are averaging probably two dollars a mile, mm. um, and our dry vans averaging about a dollar seventy five a mile. Mm. Um, now the truck payment ranges anywhere from seven hundred to about eleven hundred dollars, mm -hmm. depending on the uh, the newer truck that you want. Um, and then of course you have to pay for your gas. Right. As well, that's average anywhere from 1100 to 1500 uh, okay. but we do have a surcharge for you that will help you out on gas at any pilot too mm -hmm. um, right around 55 cents per gallon okay gallon. okay okay that sounds pretty good pretty interesting all right but as far as leasing goes um i'm leasing the truck uh leasing to own the truck uh, is there any is, for dispatching? Do I get a dispatcher that dispatch my loads to me, or do I get to, do I get to look on the load board? Right. So we just have a load board now um, that they'll just send you loads to pick from, hmm. and uh, you can choose from them. Uh, you and also you're not forced dispatched, so you get to choose your own timeout, your own home time. Hmm. Uh, you're your own boss. 
You just got to make sure to pay that truck payment for you. Okay. Okay. So, well, by the sounds of it, uh, by the sounds of it, it sounds like I, I should go for the money aspect. I, I, I really should go lease on, on with you guys by the sounds of it. Yeah. Yeah, our lease is pretty good. You'll usually pay your truck off within three to five years. Mm -hmm. um, that's kind of the kind of the normal average of what everybody's doing. Um, but what I would probably suggest for you um, is to come on board with us as a company driver, right? Um, and feel it out. You know, see all the loads and things like that, and see if you can if you can work with the loads that you're getting as a company driver mm -hmm. um, that you're able to to fit in with your lease purchase if you make that decision. Okay. Now you now you mentioned uh force dispatch not for the lease drivers, but what about for the for the company drivers? For the most part you basically are force dispatched. However, um if you get a load somewhere that you don't want to go, um they'll find you another load to go somewhere else. Okay. All right, cool. Uh I know I mentioned in the beginning of our conversation as being a second chance company. But do you guys also offer some type of refresher course for drivers that hasn't been, I mean, well, that got their CDLs but haven't been driving in a while? Right, we do. So if they if they've been out of the out of the realm for a while, uh, we'll get them to go out with a trainer for about a week and a half or two weeks. Uh, it's performance based, so the better they do, the quicker they're done and on their own again. Okay, okay, okay. Now this sounds pretty interesting because you know I called uh you know I, I kind of called you guys maybe about two three years ago and it's it, it sounds like uh, you guys made a lot of improvements since then, since the last time I talked to you this this is this this yes, is great sir. information uh, we're we're definitely we're definitely scaling the business and we realize that a lot of other companies are not taking people uh, fresh out of trucking school so we're kind of the company that gives them that experience that they need get them jump started and also people who have you know goofed up in their past mm -hmm. um and we're willing to give them a second chance and build that experience back up for them okay pet and rider policy and what's the youngest i can bring my rider um 18. 18 all right all right and and uh i guess i i got a few other questions and i'll get up out your hair and i really do appreciate you taking the time with me um yeah absolutely. do you do you guys uh do you guys being that again back to being the second chance company and a refresher company what about what, what about sap drivers do you, do you guys accept them uh we do not unfortunately oh okay okay and what's uh what's the sign on bonus so the sign on bonus um if they've been out of it's like we talk about the refresher course the refresher course for them they get a sign on bonus of fifteen hundred dollars and they just have to be with us for at least six months okay um okay in, and that's the only sign on bonus that we have oh okay and th th they'll get that they'll get that full 1500 after six months or is it or is it how is it paid out uh it's paid in installments throughout that oh throughout the six months yes sir oh, okay okay well hey man thank you very much man this is a lot to unpack and uh i will definitely take this information back with me to my social media outlets you know and uh and and definitely let them know that uh that you guys have uh improved since the last time i talked to you Yes, sir. Um, I'm going to send you my contact information uh, so you have it. So if you have any other questions or you have some guys that are willing to on board with us, um, I'd really like to bring them on for us. All right. Not a problem. Uh, would, would you like the email or would you like to just text it to me? Yeah, I'll shoot you. I'll shoot you my information via text. All right. Awesome, man. Uh, I'll tell you what. I will take all that information that you give me and I would... I will go ahead and uh, put that up on my social media sites, and uh, and hopefully that uh, that that'll generate something for you. Awesome, brother! I appreciate it. And if you ever need anything, you let us know. Okay. Will do, sir. Thank you for the time. Not a problem. Have a good one. Oh, <laughs> Western Express drivers. What's your what's your thoughts on that, man?
since the last time I talked to him, I, I, I don't think I got as much as good information as I got from, from this gentleman right here, man. Look, let's, let's unpack this for a little bit. They do have lease options, and it sounds as though leasing will probably, you know, for the money aspect, this, for the money aspect, Leasing would probably be the best way to go if you're a veteran driver with uh with uh Western Express. Uh if you co with company, you're pretty much capped at 54 cent a mile. If you go flatbed, you probably get a little bit more. If you're out of Ohio, they do have a flatbed position at 88 cent at a hundred and maybe $150 per tarp. So that might be something good. And of course, if you're, uh, if you're a driver that's really having a hard time looking for, you know, trucking jobs that would accept you because of whatever situations that you have on your background, they, they can look at it and you probably might get a chance to, you know, rock out with them, you know, something, something to think about when, when you go looking for a second chance job, man. I mean, second chance job. That's, that's wow. That's the, I'm, I'm, I'm still, I'm, I'm still weaning from, from the information, man. I mean, they got, they, they have, um, Again, like I said, they have two different divisions. They had to they had to drive in and the flatbed, and then the lease op uh, option. Also, he mentioned that they also have a training option as well because they do need trainers with Western Express. Man, yo, what you what what you guys thoughts on this? Is this something that you might be interested in? If so, the information for Getting in contact with Eric is in the description below. That's my take on Western Express. If you guys want to know more information, it is in the description below. Let them know that Lockout Men sent you. There's something in the air tonight. Got a feeling coming over me. I swear that this is that place to be in the water. In the, the water.